welcome back to RPL learning in this learning session you are going to learn how RPI is applicable into finance and accounting so let's get started so in this session you are going to learn what are the typical finance and accounting use cases we'll go across deep dive and wide and understand the different use cases and number two we'll see the live invoice creation demonstration using RPA bot yep so let's get started and understand before that before I get it into the finance and accounting use case I would like to remind you what are the eligibility of the processes that may be automated using RPA so number one is data entry in any form if you see the possibility of data entry it's a very good candidate to automate via RPA number two is a state through processing wherever you see the users are hopping across the multiple systems to complete the transaction number three in case you come across any situation where the integration between the different system in order to complete a transaction happens through the API the probable the new emerging huge case may be through RPA number four is reporting it could be compliance or regulatory or any kind of reporting and number fifth is data validation so these are the eligible applicability across the industry irrespective of finance or HR but now let's get started and understand what are the different huge cases into finance and accounting so number one is invoice creation it's a typical data entry number two account receivable processing it's a typical data entry receiving the account creating the entry and then following up with the vendors number three general ledger entry it's again it's a data entry ensure that our general ledgers are being updated and mapped against a right header number fourth is account reconciliation this is the typical pain point into finance and accounting so when it comes to reconciliation with the multiple systems including the the different excels it's a very huge case where we can deploy RPA number fifth is payment settlement and processing when it comes to interdepartment payment settlement when it comes to vendor payment settlement there are multiple system involved in fact the bank portals are involved and SAP systems are involved so that's where we can deploy the RPA bot number six is payroll processing it used to be the painful activity at least at the end of the month there are a lot of manual activity involved RPA could be a good candidate number seven is finance review preparation during the finance review preparation we need to pull the data from multiple system and consolidate in order to present it to management so at least data collection preparation and 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 the uh, the consolidation part can be done by URPA bot number eight is intercompany reconciliation this is very important aspect it happens twice or thrice in a month this could be a good candidate number nine is regulatory compliance and reporting in any department especially into finance regulatory and compliance reporting becomes very very critical and in case of missing this this attract the financial penalty so largely it's a data collection across the multiple systems and creating the different kind of you know the reporting and reviews number 10 is customer onboarding it's a very good candidate wherever we are onboarding the either vendors suppliers or the customer RPA could be good candidate to onboard the customer 11 is most critical travel and expense management in fact being the employee we also used to claim a lot of reimbursement while when we travel for the different purposes or we claim our food or travel expenses that's where a lot of bandwidths have been consumed so it's a good candidate for RPA to automate this processes and last but not the least month and closing process this is very very critical for finance department and at the end of the main month I have seen the people are pretty much occupied busy working late hours in fact during the weekend to complete this activity I am taking a pause if you come from a finance department or in fact you are out of the finance department can you imagine can you connect that 
what are the other huge cases that comes to your mind that can be automated or you can identify all right you might have thought about it but now i wanted to show you the live demonstration how account payable invoices are being created into sap system so let's take a look but before that let's understand the workflow for our better understanding the first activity the invoices are being received across the multiple channels so those invoices are different vendors has different format some vendor used to send into excel some vendor send into pdf some vendor send into scan and in fact it come into multiple channels also some most of the time through email but sometimes vendor send across fax or sometimes it comes the hard copy as well so let's let's assume at this moment that all the invoices of different format come across the email once the invoices landed into the system that is been extracted by the human being a finance and accounting executive and data is being created into the sap systems once the data is being created uh, the validation takes place two way or three way process validation and in case of exceptions the invoices are returned back to the vendor but in case of happy path once the invoice is being created into sap and approved now it is being posted for the payment processing this is the account uh, payable uh, uh, creation process on the paper let's see how it happens into real time i have a video i'm just running for you great so this has been extracted into excel and now we are running to run into sap so UiPath is launching SAP here it's logged in and now you see it's going to enter the username and password it's finding the right page it's searching the data it started creating it's all done by the bot it's all done by the bot This all data is being picked up from the Excel. It is extracted from the invoice using OCR and it's pushing the data into SAP.
all right great so this has been created now let me switch back to my presentation okay so this is all done RPA in finance and accounting I would like you I encourage you to think about what other huge cases you can think through in your finance department or maybe out of the finance department where you can deploy the RPA bot and and automate the very interesting use case thanks a lot for watching this video